パーパーパーパーパーパンパンパンパンパンパンパン Look at this amazing room, everyone. We are in a room at the Polynesian Village Resort at Walt Disney World. This was one of the first resorts to ever open up and really the first real themed Disney resort, I think, really in the world. Now, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, you'll know that I love, 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 love tiki stuff. I even did a video back a while ago on this place called Oceanic Arts back home in California. I talked a lot about the owner's history and how they had been involved in all kinds of aspects of tiki culture. Well, they even helped to theme this place out. I had friends who helped to build the Polynesian. But I've never had a chance to stay here. Look at all of this retro glory. The art on the walls is amazing. The theming here and the little details are superb. I've been on this cross-country road trip and my original plan was just to stop by Walt Disney World just for a second, maybe just for one day and then keep on cruising down the road. But a friend of mine uh, offered me the princely gift of being able to stay in the Polynesian if I would reconsider and spend a few days at Disney World. So, twist my arm. I'm pretty sure that this particular room is a DVC, Disney Vacation Club room. Whoa, look at that shower curtain, that is goals. So not only does it have this bathroom here with like the toilet and that bathtub with the shower and whatever, it also has another bathroom right over here that only has a shower, but boy, what a shower. Look, it has the thingy on the top for the water to come out of the ceiling and then it's got the, the microphone thing like blah blah and then you turn it on and it gets water in your face and there's tile and a place to sit your butt and then these like stone things and the drain is like a square instead of a hole in the floor. So this is pretty neat. Now I don't want to be weird but I totally got, I got nude right there. I definitely traumatized this bathroom. Both the bathrooms have these crazy huge sliding doors on them so that you can close the whole hallway off and just be like, oh yeah, I just got a hallway here. I have no bathrooms. I never need to go to the bathroom. Also, there's a closet here with a laundry basket so you can go down and do your laundry. There's an iron. There's a, a playpen. I, I lock myself up in there sometimes when I'm getting a little too rowdy. A room safe just in case you have any valuables. Don't think I'll be needing that. And also, an iron board. Uh, not for the iron, that's just in case you want to go surfing outside. Then over yeah, is the total obvious, this is why I know it's a DVC room, because it has a microwave in here, and also paper plates and bowls, a roll of paper towels, great Scott, and some forks and knives that are plastic, and these sweet blank cups, I guess they're blank so that you're not tempted to steal them. This says there's also like a casserole dish and a cookware set and a corkscrew and some storage containers and stuff that I don't, I don't know where that stuff is. Toaster, coffee maker, sink with dish stuff and a sponge, and then there's this cabinet down here with two trash cans, and of course, a refrigerator, which I have already lovingly stocked with Mountain Dew. The first time I ever got to stay in a Disney hotel, it was Port Orleans Riverside, which is another resort at Walt Disney World, and it had a similar thing to this. Look at this under the TV here, this themed cabinet is an extra bed. You can just lay down on here and take a little nap. And there's cute little hidden Lilo and Stitch art right here. Oh, this is relaxing. This whole place is super retro and funky and weird. You got a mix of actual modern with the little USB jacks in the wall there, and also mid-century modern with this funky, awesome retro furniture. Pretty sure this couch folds out to a bed too. Just the style of it is all so cool, so awesome. But it doesn't just end inside the hotel room. Look at these little light fixtures here. They have these same light fixtures at Trader Sam's back home, you know, the enchanted tiki bar. And if that's not enough retro tiki theming for you, look at all of this. All of the common areas at the Polynesian are like mind-blowingly a perfect combination of Mad Men and Tiki amazingness. If I could have a house that looked like this, I would be one very, very, very happy camper. I just hope that if I'm really, really extra good, maybe I can die and go to a place like this forever. As cool as a lot of the places I get to go are, I don't usually get to actually enjoy them because I'm usually so busy filming them that I don't get to spend any time even thinking about where I actually am. I'm hoping that's not going to be the case with the Polynesian. I'm really going to try to rest and relax. Oh man, look at these chairs. I feel like a full-on super villain in this thing. And look at the view from this seat. 
And this is just a common area of one of these buildings. I'm pretty sure the big part of it is that I'm really tired from driving all the way across a continent by myself. But like, this doesn't, this doesn't even feel real. I definitely don't feel like I'm even here or in my body because this is just too awesome. Also, there's a phone here. Get me the president. <laughs> Obama? Outside, it's a whole other ball game. There are two pools here, at least three restaurants that I counted. And the most stunning views of any Disney hotel I have ever stayed at. Right over there, if you look really closely, you can see the monorail over there, and there's the Grand Floridian. And if you climb up this little hill here, away from the main part of the resort and towards the shore of the Seven Seas Lagoon, you can look out and see the Magic Kingdom. That's the Magic Kingdom out there. You can see the top of Cinderella's Castle and Space Mountain, and you can even see the ferry boats going across the lagoon. Look at, that's the castle. Right there. That is so wild. These are the Bora Bora bungalows. These are like fancy bungalows that fancy people can stay in on the water right here. My room faces the other direction towards the parking lot and the monorail. But it's still one of the most gorgeous views I've ever had from any hotel room ever. Woo, white sand. This is totally not fake. They have a Polynesian dinner show here that I did not get reservations for, but looks like I can still play volleyball. <laughs> All right, serves up dudes. <gasps> Spike. I think that's the best I've ever done at volleyball. And there was no one here to see it. Of course. Look how far I made the ball do the thing. That's good. If I keep this up, people are gonna call me Iceman. Look at the trash cans with the little Polynesian Resort guy on them. Those are so cool. Oh, here's a trash can for towels. Now that's one I've never seen before. A towel trash can. Weird. That right there is the little tiny boat that leaves from the Polynesian and takes guests over to the Magic Kingdom. Oh, and if you thought that was impressive, sometimes it even brings them back. Beautiful scenery, a nighttime fire pit, a sweet beach, a super sweet volcano pool, with a cave and a slide, sweet lizards, super epic landscaping, complete with lush tropical foliage, of course, an epic tiki splash playground, a Dole Whip counter, look, Tim and Megan found me to say hello! <laughs> Giant tiki spoon, super epic lobby, couple of gift shops, and a tiki outside who's peeping. Seriously, look at him back there. He's a peeping Tom! Right from the very entrance, the theming of this place is amazing. I've never been to a hotel I would like to live at so much. This is also famously the place where John Lennon signed the official paperwork breaking up the Beatles. My friend Adam did a video about that here, which is a sad fact. It makes me a little sad being in this place, but when I remember that he was with Mei Tang and Julian was with them and they were having a good time, it warms my heart. Look at the lobby of this place. It is Gorgeous. From what I understand, they've undergone a lot of renovations around the Polynesian in the last couple of years, and it shows it's really, really nice here. But it still has a ton of retro charm, and if you look around, a lot, a lot, a lot of really cool Polynesian pop, and especially Disney's take on Polynesian pop, stuff. Ooh, look, hidden Mickey. I love the ones like that that are actually like a Mickey shape and they're actually intentional and hidden on purpose. I love those. Hidden Mickey? Obvious Mickey. It would take a long time to explore every nook and cranny of this place. Especially when it seems like there's something super awesome around every corner. There's such a cool mix of historic stuff like this authentic tapa cloth. Just such a cool mix of traditional Polynesian, retro American, and whatever this thing is. Hello! Ah, gosh, I love this place. It is so cool to be here. I'm super excited about it, but honestly, I'm just as surprised as these guys are to see me here. I still have to drive all the way back home to California across the entire United States again, so I'm gonna do my best to try to enjoy myself here. There's a lot more here that I haven't even seen yet. Like, I really haven't gone in Trader Sam's, the Tiki Bar here, or all this other different stuff, used the pool. But I do know about the best part. The best part isn't even inside. It's right outside the front door where a certain amazing means of conveyance comes to pick up the guests and take us to the Magic Kingdom. The monorail stops right in front of the Polynesian, then stops at Grand Floridian, then stops at Magic Kingdom, then the Contemporary, then the Transportation Ticket Center, then back around to the Polynesian. It goes on this loop and the deluxe fancy resorts like this one are actually on a track of monorails that can take you 
to the Magic Kingdom, the theme park. Believe me, it is pretty handy having a monorail basically come to your front door to pick you up. Oh, here comes one now. The monorail is here. The monorail is here. These are way different from the monorails at Disneyland. The ones at Disneyland are like a toy. These are like buses or like a train. People actually use this as a serious method of transportation at Walt Disney World. And there's a lot more seating room, not to mention standing room, in these monorails. But we're actually not going to take the monorail right now. We're going to confuse everyone and go back the other way. Because not only could we get to the Magic Kingdom by this monorail, we're going to take the boat. Uh, I mean, we're going to take the next boat, the nighttime boat. Oh, the boat came back. I literally didn't even notice I was just like gonna shoot some night scenes. Like, look how pretty the pool looks at night. And I started shooting over the bay. And then look, the boat's back. All the other times I've been to Walt Disney World, I've watched these boats come to and from the Magic Kingdom carrying guests of these resorts. And I always wanted to be a part of it. Once I even stayed over here at the Grand Floridian, but it was only for like two nights. It was at the end of the trip. It was another present from the same friend. And I was so tired that I really didn't get to enjoy it. And I had no idea that they had one of these Jungle Cruise looking boats to take me to the Magic Freaking Kingdom. Oh, I'm so excited about riding on this very full looking boat. Hello. Magic Kingdom? Yes. Hi. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I get to sit up here by the boat captain, the pilot, driver. Hey, I Oh my gosh, I'm very excited about this. They did a good job, man. I wanted to be like, good boating. Finally, back to the Magic Kingdom. This is something they have here that they definitely need to have in Anaheim. No bag, walk right through. There's been a lot of really frustrating delays for me today, but finally, we're back at the Magic Kingdom. Oh yeah, here you leave today and enter the place that's awesome, let's go. What is that? What is that sound? Is that what I think it is? Oh my God, oh my God. My childhood! This is so cool! I actually get choked up when I see this. I'm trying to beat the parade to the hub so I can see it from a better angle. Oh man, I really miss this place. Oh, there go the lights. Look at that glorious castle. Oh boy, oh boy. Yes, hello everyone. Yes, it's nice to see you too. Thank you for coming to my party. Two things. Number one, I'm hungry and the parade is gonna pass right where I'm eating. Two, it's always better to watch the version of that parade that happens after the fireworks, because then there won't be so many people also waiting to watch that parade. That's, that's my pro tip. Just past the old country bar jamboree, huh? There's a restaurant that we do not have back home in California at Disneyland. It's the Pecos Bill Tall Tale Inn and Cafe. Probably not a lot of people that remember good old Pecos Bill, the Disney version. Or the, the regular version for that matter. But although it ain't the big Texan steak ranch, there are those of us western cowpokes who love to get our riddles here. And they have something really good that's gluten free here. That girl that just took my order's name is Simone. So I was like, everybody's got a big butt. Simone, let's talk about your big butt. You know, Pee Wee Herman? She has never seen that movie and had no idea what I was talking about. So this right here is a spicy beef and rice bowl. And look at all the fixings you can get for it. You can order this on the gluten-free menu, but then they have to prepare it separately. It takes forever. And it's actually just gluten-free the way it comes. So this is one of the only things that you can get like immediately here. It also comes with beans, but I kind of hate beans. So I'm like, nah, no beans for me. Yeah, yeah, I know. They're good for you. They're the magical fruit. All right, 
See, look at this. You can actually eat outside while the electrical parade cruises past. Of course, I want to see that parade a bunch while I'm here, so I prefer quieter accommodations for the moment. Right back here. Full disclosure, God's honest truth, I would come here just for the food, to Disney World. The gluten-free food here is an attraction all to itself. If you have to be gluten-free, this is the place to do it. Oh, great, Scott, my belly's so full. This particular camera doesn't do so well at night, so I think the vlog is basically gonna have to end right here. Well, maybe just one quick detour. Oh, maybe, never mind. Looks like Splash Mountain is actually closed. Hmm, but I have another idea. I come here. It's still weird to see this inside. In California, our small world facade is quite a bit bigger, although it is like this style, but it is definitely very much outdoors, at least this section. It rains so much in Florida, they don't want you waiting in line here outside. They don't want rain going into the boat, so this small world is indoors. Look, you can touch it. You can definitely not touch the facade of It's a Small World at Home. No, sir, no way. And the only way you're gonna get behind Small World at Home is to take the Disneyland Railroad, which right now is closed, so. That's why I need to be here. This is so cool, up close and personal. Also, you can see right there, there's a restaurant right there that overlooks where the boats enter It's a Small World. That, that's the inside of the Disney World version of uh, the Village House restaurant, the Pinocchio restaurant. Ooh, here we go. Kids waving. Bye. It's a little different in this version, but really not that different. Look at, there's their little Mary Blair in there. Uh-oh. Fun pick. This version does have more countries than the one in Anaheim. But as you can see, the style is still very much faithful to the original Mary Blair version. I used to think the two were very different until I went to Paris and saw that one, which is completely different. If you go back on my videos on this channel, you can see some of Small World in Paris. That one is super different. Hey, look at this. It's like a bag of my hotel. to world peace. I mean, if you think about it, there are a lot of people from all over the world here right now who are basically living in harmony because of Disney World and all the magic. So maybe they're right after all. Look at that. You see my name up there? It's because of the magic band. It knows. They know exactly where I am. All of the time. It really is a small world after all. One thing about Florida is the weather in the daytime may be super hot, super humid, super rough. But once it gets to be nighttime like this, it's glorious. I mean, it's 10 o'clock at night and I'm wearing shorts and a t-shirt and I am very comfortable. Maybe even a little too comfortable, if you know what I'm... I don't even know what I mean. This right now is the Be Our Guest restaurant, which is all Beauty and the Beast themed. I don't know if you guys saw it, but last time I was here, I filmed a video in there with the Beast personal friend. It was uh, pretty awesome. The Beast is a heck of a dude. The lightning's making it look all cool and creepy and ominous and stuff. 
Good job. I was so distracted today, I didn't even think about getting any fast passes, which means I probably won't get to go on Seven Doors Mine Train. Oh, here comes the rain. Everybody's starting to run. Oh, they're big fat trucks. Oh, holy moly, the storm is here. This kid's excited. The rain comes and goes here so quickly and so often that you can never tell if it's gonna be something to last like a couple of minutes or all night. This is why all the rides here have roofs over them. I probably should have brought like a backpack or something for the camera to protect it from the rain, but no, I didn't. This looks fun. I think I know another ride that might shelter me instead. Yeah, it's starting to come down, all right. Everyone, a lot, a lot of the people look calm though. The only thing funnier than seeing the people who like panic and start to run when it rains is the people who just like give up. They're like, I deserve this. All right, hey Tomorrowland, how you been, huh? Rain, thunder, wind, lightning, I don't care what's going on. I always have time for the people mover. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I love this ride. Florida Justin wears shorts and is not concerned about the rain. You're quiet and carefree, highway. That's the model of Progress City, Walt Disney's original city of the future concept. And the original people mover was designed as the thing that would move people to and fro in the city, in connection with monorails and other such like futuristic things. I really miss this being at Disneyland, big time. What I love about the people mover is that there's really nothing to it. It's just fun to be a people and be moving. Uh, I didn't fall asleep. That wasn't me. Oh no, it's already over. Normally I would literally ride the people mover three or four times in a row, but there was kind of a break in the weather there for a second. And I thought to myself, self, you should probably go put the camera in a locker. Of course, then the rain came back with a vengeance. And I am now cowering under a little tiny planter on Main Street. Um, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Rain happens. Oh look, someone else had the same idea as me. Wow, the raindrops are drippy. To inclement weather. Oh boy. This performance of Wishes, a magical gathering of Disney dreams, has been delayed. We'll begin as soon as possible. Oh, oh. Oh, oh boy, all right. I don't care where you're from. It's raining now. I'm wet, I'm wet, I'm wet, I'm wet. Oh, what a fun, wet, fun, whoa. Ah, oh, shelter. Everyone's taking shelter from the big storm under the tiny little roofs available. All right, I'm gonna make a break for it. Here we go. Oh boy. <laughs> wet, all right. Excuse me. Pardon me, sorry. Trying to make my way to the front here. <laughs> this is a good time for everyone. Oh, Florida. This is how thou art. Well, what are you gonna do? Florida weather, am I right? Anyway, that's about all we have time for today. Check out my t-shirts, liftfastsiteport.com. I got an Instagram, I got a Twitter, I got a Patreon. I got all kinds of stuff down in the description below. For now, I think we've got our duty. We can go home and sleep well. Wishing you all a safe, warm, and very dry night. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.
this is that I was really bummed out earlier that I didn't get to go in the pool today. Careful, <laughs> careful what you wish for.